Hey guys, my name's Kyle Christian. I'm the owner of Texas Pinworks, and I'm gonna show you how to turn one of these into one of these. All right, so guys, I'm gonna show you how to, how I measure. Uh, I basically take the insert that goes inside of the antler or acrylic or wood, whatever it might be that I'm gonna use. And I just find a spot that uh, looks like it's straight enough and uh, big enough to drill a hole through that this insert's actually going to fit into. So I will take that and I will mark it with my pencil. Either side. I always give myself a little bit of room just in case I don't make a straight cut. And uh, I don't know if you can see that up close, but that's about... All there is to it, I'm gonna take this over to the bandsaw and cut it. Okay guys, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and fire up the bandsaw and the uh, vacuum. So it's gonna get a little noisy, but hopefully you can get the gist of how this works. Okay, so I've got the hole drilled into the deer antler. Can you see that? And now I've got to take this brass tube that will go inside. That's what actually all the pin parts press into. So I'm going to set this up so I can glue this uh, with epoxy inside the deer antler. And then I'll let that dry and then I'll uh, turn the pin.
Okay guys, so got the pin turned, assembled, finished. See, this is a click style deer antler bullet pin. And I'm gonna show you how it writes. This has a gel ink cartridge. And there you have it. So I hope you liked the uh, the video showing you how I make the pins. Uh, I make these by myself, uh, one at a time. Uh, I take great care in the finish to make sure that it's flawless uh, because I want people to, uh, when they get my pins, I want them to just go, wow, you, you made that? That came from a, from a deer antler. And uh, I, I, that's the satisfaction that I get from uh, doing this. And uh, I hope you like the video.